Hello everyone, this is Raja here and today we are going to discuss uh, about one of my projects which I, which I recently pulled off and it is about like installing WordPress uh, through containerization through Docker and it's on an EC2 instance and EC2 means Amazon EC2 instance. So basically what I did, uh, I used the WordPress containers of uh, Docker, Docker images, and I spin them up in Amazon AWS EC2 uh, instances. So uh, uh, it had a lot of technicalities in it. Uh, so I was uh, like thinking uh, of uh, pulling this off uh, from uh, some time, and uh, in this uh, video today, I'm going to discuss how I uh, did it. So let's dive into uh, the use case. Um, First and the foremost, uh, uh, if you see, like there are three components. Uh, one is WordPress, one is Docker, and one is EC2. WordPress is a content management uh, software which is used to create things like uh, blogs or website. Docker is a containerization platform uh, which is used to uh, do uh, like uh, OS level virtualizations. And AWS EC2, you know, is a cloud service provider. So basically what I did, uh, like you can have AWS EC2 subscription is the first step which you need. Uh, for having this AWS EC2 subscription, you can go to this AWS uh, site. Uh, and if you are from India, like uh, you can, uh, I'm not sure in other countries what they're offering, but in India, like currently they are offering a free tier uh, uh, program in which uh, they are basically uh, giving a lot of, uh, um functionalities for free and you can just go and uh, test them so what you need uh, you can uh, go to aws site which is aws.amazon.com and then you can like uh, you can hit it uh, hit link try aws for free and you will be popped up with this registration url and through that you can sign up and you can put in your details up in here so I already did that and after you did that, uh, uh, do that, you, you just need to uh, put in your uh, credit card or debit card details. They will charge you a couple of rupees in Indian currency uh, and they will also uh, return you back. Uh, so this is just for the verification purpose. So in the free tier, there are a lot of functionalities uh, they give. Uh, like if you see the free tier details, uh, AWS free tier details, uh, you can see like uh, you are here they are giving like uh, 750 hours of uh, AWS EC2 instance like Amazon S3 you can use uh, like you have uh, you can use Amazon Dynamo DB you can use AWS Lambda which is a very nice uh, feature and uh, as the future of computing uh, people say uh, there are also a lot of uh, other features which you can use it is a great uh, uh, like uh, program which AWS has started uh, to uh, the developers and uh, to all the IT guys to get acquainted with this AWS systems and if you stay under these margins you won't be charged anything or if you uh, go above it you will be charged a bare minimum so cloud is always the best because it's always like pay as you go so you need not to uh, like buy like uh, what uh, if you buy a, a computer at home and you need to always keep it at home but out like you only need to pay for uh, the time you use it and if you are not using it uh, you are probably uh, fine with that uh, fine with that and um, so this is uh, like the details of uh, the AWS uh, so first I uh, as I told you like I logged into this uh, uh, console AWS console and I created a uh, an account and after I created an account I got uh, uh, to sign into uh, this uh, AWS management console and after I signed into AWS management console I basically got <coughs> this dashboard which tells me uh, to how to launch an instance so launch instance is basically how you start your own compute instance. So there are a lot of Unix flavors, uh, Linux flavors, which you will get here. Like you will get <coughs> of, uh, Amazon Linux. Uh, these are free tier eligible. You get Red Hat Linux, UC Linux, and you also get Ubuntu. 
so i uh, selected one of my uh, uh, instances uh, after you select uh, i selected uh, the ubuntu one and i created the, that uh, after you select uh, that one let's do it once uh, you, let's select the ubuntu one and then you you need to select uh, uh, the type or uh, the type of the instance like which basically shows you what is the resource capability of that instance here i have uh, like you 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 can have a Tito Micro, it is free tier eligible. But if you ha can pay, like you can select other, other tiers depending upon your requirement. In the free tier, you will get one CPU and one memory. Not enough, but it is uh, probably enough uh, to do this experimentation and testings. Um, and uh, like after you select all those, you can just uh, configure your instance. Uh, you can add storage if you want to. Uh, like you can add up to 30 GB. Uh, it, it uh, gives you 8 GB uh, initially uh, and then like I have selected probably something else uh, yeah so it gives you generally 8 GB and you can make it up to 30 GB so if you go up to 30 it won't uh, like cost you anything you can add tax you can configure your security group security group is basically uh, setting up your inbound and outbound rule uh, to this instance uh, like um, from what IP you can hit this instance and through to what IP this uh, instance will provide the traffic to so after you are done with this you can just review and launch your instance uh, what I did I basically uh, launched mine and uh, here is my EC2 instance uh, on running instance this is my EC2 instance and after uh, running my instance I logged into this instance using putty uh, and after you log in, uh, launch your instance, you will get a key, and using that key, you can uh, uh, basically log in. You need to give the user ID, which is Ubuntu. If you are uh, selecting a Linux flavor Ubuntu, and you can like like this, you can just simply log in. And after you log in, uh, you need to install uh, uh, Docker. So I explained Docker. What Docker is like it's a containerized platform. So you can install docker uh, through app get or snap uh, it's a very simple process uh, if you want to have more details about uh, how to install docker you can go to the docker site and you can check uh, this uh, get docker for uh, community edition for uh, ubuntu and it is very uh, like helpful you can uh, uh, follow along the steps one by one and you can get docker installed if you are having any issue let me know i'll, I'll uh, create another video for that uh, to have docker installed on ubuntu how to do it so after you install docker you will get another tool for docker which is docker compose so what docker basically is docker basically is uh, gives you the ability to run a few images uh, on your server uh, in the form of container uh, and like you can run uh, app applications you can run uh, web servers you can run databases and docker compose uh, basically gives you uh, the tool uh, through which you can run two three uh, containers together so for docker compose uh, you need to create a file uh, called uh, docker compose file and this file uh, is uh, a yml file which i needed to create and this file contains everything it's a compact file and uh, it, it it's a very simple file uh, uh, you need to uh, adhere to the y yml syntax uh, while uh, writing this file and you can see there are two services which i have one is wordpress and one is db and the wordpress i am using using the image of wordpress i want it to restart always um, i am mounting a volume called content uh, from my local host on this uh, container at where www.html uh, i'll tell you why i'm doing it uh, I am running it on port 8 it will run on port 80 on the container so I am redirecting or exposing that port 80 on 8080 on my uh, local host and these are the environment variables which uh, this uh, image or the container at runtime expects like the db host name user password and name of the database and after you are uh, done with all this uh, like you need to again uh, give the database details like uh, the database image uh, and uh, uh, like all, all this, these are all the same stuffs 
like restart your database volume and everything and uh, basically volume uh, is what I said I'll come back to it uh, volume is basically uh, uh, given uh, to have uh, persistent data on our application so persistent by persistent you what do you mean like uh, if you run containers uh, on a server you, you can basically uh, spin it up and spin it down and as soon as you spin it down everything will uh, go down so whatever the data in the container it will be gone so to preserve that data you need to have uh, store that data on a local drive of your uh, uh, current host server and for that I have created two folders one is the content and another is data so data is actually containing uh, the, all the data from my database which is my SQL database on uh, the data folder and the content folder contains all the PHP files or the HTML files or the themes or plugins everything that WordPress consists of in this content folder so I can give you a quick view of that also so if you go and uh, do a CD into content you can see that all the PHP files all the index.php WP admin WP content is basically the folder where your images and plugins stays in so everything is content over there and if you go to data you can see all the uh, SQL stuffs over here so after you are done with this uh, it's very simple like you need to run one command uh, to spin up the server uh, which is a uh, docker compose Uh, yeah, this is the one docker. No, no, no docker compose up a hyphen D. I can write. Yeah, this is the one sudo docker compose up hyphen D and uh, Your container will start running. So I have already kept it running so You can see this is the uh, Currently the server here So I am connecting it to the EC2 instance at port 8080 so this you need to consider like a as I said, you need to configure your inbound outbound traffic rules in AWS. So before uh, I'll go to that, but uh, just uh, let me bring it down and then start it up to show you how it works. Uh, let's bring it down first. sudo docker compose. Down. Will basically bring these containers down. You see all these containers, all those both containers bring was brought down, and if I refresh it now, it won't won't be reachable anymore. So if I start it up, so it's basically a uh, Docker compose up hyphen D hyphen D is uh, in detached mode. Uh, this is basically allowing me to. Uh, basically allowing me uh, to have the function functionality to uh, run the container on its own and uh, it won't be uh, like uh, creating any issue uh, like whenever I will be having uh, like whenever I will be uh, like uh, uh, running uh, like generally what happens when you run a container uh, and you are not running it in a detached mode it may happen that the container uh, when when you go out of the container everything goes down but when you run it a detached mode uh, and uh, after it, it, it keep on running that is the thing and if you uh, go and see docker ps it's, a, it's basically sorry sudo docker ps This basically is a command to check all the processes that are running on docker you can see that my wordpress and my sql both are running and it's just started 55 seconds ago and again after i i come here it, it again reloaded and it is working fine down here so uh, this is basically what you can do with uh, docker uh, and uh, so uh, it, it is not in nothing hard and fast you can do but docker is a uh, very uh, uh, quickly becoming uh, one of the industry standard and uh, it is quickly uh, taking all the areas uh, of virtualization so uh, there soon will be 
uh, one day like when all the application will be installed in docker mode so I just wanted to uh, do this experiment and uh, show it to all of you uh, so this is uh, that uh, I also have this yaml file uh, details I will put uh, the detail of my um, git repository uh, which contain the detail of this yaml file you can put it uh, from you can take it from over there and you can run your own docker images um, so uh, let me know what you think about this video and uh, uh, do share uh, your thoughts uh, in the in form of comments and uh, i will be very happy uh, if you uh, provide uh, any suggestions to me to improve uh, these videos and any new challenges uh, will be amazing so uh, give a thumbs up if you like the video uh, we will again meet uh, next time uh, till then goodbye